This is Prince Van Lee coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love. I want to talk to you today about miracles in industry. I mentioned on a previous podcast titled Ideas and Associates that one of the members on my board of directors was a man named Magdi Gurgis, or Mike Gurgis, who was from Egypt, and his father was the third wealthiest man in Egypt. His father actually had more power politically than Nasser did when Nasser was in office. And my friend Mike had to be smuggled out of the country and across the hills in Syria by the Druze and then finally got out of Syria to the United States because he was on the list, the blacklist in Egypt, allegedly for trying to Christianize the nation. In other words, he loved Jesus. Mike ultimately worked in the engineering department at Hughes Aircraft. Several of the men that I knew who worked there had Bible studies every morning. There was a real awakening in Hughes Aircraft in the Fullerton, California plant as well as the Hughes plant near the L.A. airport in L.A. I forget the particular name of that facility. But these brothers would meet early before they went to work at 8 in the morning and hold Bible studies in the engineering office. They had Bible studies in the morning and also at noontime. One of the brothers there was a a prophet. His name was Jack. I forget his last name. And he was a real man of God, a real prophet of God. And his little daughter was born with club feet. I think when the girl was around seven years of age, Jack took his daughter to a shoe store and he told the salesman there he wanted to buy a pair of shoes for the girl. Well, the salesman looked at the girl's feet and club feet and saw they were turned in and he said, we don't sell corrective shoes here. And Jack said to the salesman, well, that's okay. Jesus is going to heal her. So he told him what size he wanted and everything. And the guy got the shoes and got ready to package them up. And he said, no, I want to put them on her now. Jesus is going to heal her now. And it was either the salesman or the manager of the store just was really flabbergasted. He couldn't believe that God still did miracles today. So Jack takes the shoes over, sits the little girl down, and prays over. And all of a sudden, straight and right out, one of the feet, the other foot went right into position, became normal, put the shoes on her. Little girl walked out of the shoe store. That's the kind of miracles that happen regularly at Hughes Air Cap. They invited me in to uh, minister there, and the second time I went to to preach at Hughes Aircraft in Fullerton, the Lord had already been working not only in the engineering department, but out in the factory, and there was standing room only where I was ministering. But during one of the noon prayer meetings, a fellow named Walter Meisenbach came up to my friends, and he said, what what is this born-again stuff you guys keep talking about? Now, Walter had been a hunchback for uh, 15 years. He was in serious pain every day, all the time, continually. And so they shared the good news of Messiah Jesus with Walter, and he received Jesus as his Messiah, was born again right there in the noontime Bible study, and then they laid hands on Walter and asked the Lord Jesus to heal Walter, to deliver Walter from being a hunchback from this bent-over condition he had had for 15 years. And all of a sudden, pop, 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 they could hear it crack. He, Walter straightens right up and has a perfectly normal spine. Well, when Walter goes home that night, his wife actually was near the door when he came in, and she looked at him, and she saw this shine on his face. Not only was he joyous because he had met Jesus, but he was joyous because he was no longer carrying around that pain he'd carried for 15 years, plus he was standing straight up. Well, this had a tremendous effect on the whole family. Well, it was some time later, I don't know if it was a year or two, I was invited to preach in a high school. There were so many drug problems in the public schools that I had been invited by several public schools to come minister to the students. They wanted to help. They didn't even care if it was Jesus that helped them. (laughs) No prayer and Bible study, but please send Jesus. We need help. And while I was ministering in one of the places, I didn't know who was there. I mentioned about Walter Meisenbach. I don't know really why I did it. And one of the girls piped up and said, oh, that's my daddy. Let me tell you the rest of the story. And she began to tell what happened at the home and everything. These were some of the kind of miracles that happened at Hughes, where people would just get together and pray and read the Bible. Men and women, engineers, secretaries, factory workers, reading the Word of God, worshiping God, and allowing the Holy Spirit to come into their midst, and the Messiah Jesus would do the miraculous. That's all it takes, my friend. Don't make it too hard. Miracles in industry, miracles in marketing, miracles in business, miracles in education, 
God does miracles anywhere, my friend. He said in Jeremiah 33, 3, Call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things you don't even know. My friend, God can even do miracles in churches and synagogues. Just let him have his way. I hope this message has helped you today. This is your friend, Prince Hanley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, Holy Spirit, miracle-working love. Baruch Abba Adonai.